get it on and cracking. I feel like this is wonky. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to EF. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking yet another video and welcome if you're new. My name is Tadi G and this channel is all about me taking you guys along for the journey with me as I build this clothing brand and also trying to give you tips, tricks, gems and all that good stuff. Today's video is going to be one of those like gems kind of videos. I'm going to be talking about pop-ups so let's get into this video. So what is a pop-up? For those that don't know, a pop-up is basically like a temporary store. It can be anywhere between one day or three months or six months. It's basically a short-term lease on a store or at an exhibition or at an event where you showcase your products. And it's not just for clothes. It can be for candles, alcohol, whatever it is that you sell. And the aim is to get in front of your potential customer, get talking and basically sell yourself and your business so why do people even consider doing pop-ups obviously we know that online at the moment is kind of sort of where you're really trying to be so why would you even consider doing a pop-up being out there physically well the reason why we've considered doing a pop-up and the reason why i feel like people consider doing a pop-up is literally because you get the opportunity to get in front of your potential customers and the advantage of being in front of your customers is that they get the opportunity to touch and feel your products so say if it's a clothing brand if it's a candle business they get to smell your product and try it out see whether you know it's the aroma that they're looking for or say you've got like a i don't know like an online snack brand i don't know they can get to taste your product and decide whether or not they want to actually make that purchase and also they'll get to speak to you the brand owner if you're going to be there or maybe your sales representatives and having that conversation with a human being actually allows you to to you know get a proper idea of the brand and it gives them like a little bit more of a push say if they were unsure whether or not they wanted to purchase the product just having one little conversation with the brand owner or sales representative is all they need to actually go ahead and make that purchase so that's one really big advantage of being out there and having a pop-up if your things are really really good quality presenting that online can be really difficult so having the opportunity for the customer to actually come in touch your products and be like oh you know what, actually this is really good quality if they were unsure whether they wanted to buy it due to the quality and especially if you're somebody that, that's just like popping out of nowhere gaining that customer trust can be really difficult but if the product is in front of them and it's real then it's more likely that they would actually go ahead and purchase it it gets new eyes on your brand especially if you pick a location that has an amazing footfall or maybe you're at an event so the pop-ups that we've done in the past they have been as part of an event so there are going to be people there and there will be brand new eyes on your brand so it's a great form of marketing it's also a great form of creating brand new content like you can be like taking snapchats or instagram stories of you at the pop-up telling the story speaking to customers it's just amazing for content creation and from my own personal experience i know that the most sales that i have actually made in a day for my brand has been at a pop-up and i don't know it's just nice because you set yourself like a little target and you're like okay i want to make x amount of sales i want to make x amount of money and you do what you can to actually meet that target when i've done pop-ups i will have like my friends and my family there as well and i set them like little targets and they're like trying to compete with each other and make the most sales and it's just like an amazing experience and that is why i am all for doing pop-ups and that's why i am doing a pop-up allowing people to understand the vibe that is shavashiva like the world of shavashiva it's not all about just clothes it's about like the enjoyment the culture the music and all that kind of stuff and then of course they get to feel the garments purchase it so at my pop-up it's not just going to be like a shop selling clothes it'll be it'll be an experience so there are different types of pop-ups or what i would consider a pop-up so obviously you can go out 
out and you can rent a shop and you can have it for a day or you can have it for three months it's really up to you or you can pop up as part of an event so maybe your I don't know your local school is having a fair you can go there and you can pitch your table and sell whatever it is that you're selling in the UK there are like event companies that actually run events which are dedicated to small brands doing pop-ups so I've done a couple of them before in London and in Paris and I've been to like Crepe City and they do like where you go there and you sell your stuff or you might be somebody that retails like Jordans or something you can go there and you can like sell your Jordans or whatever it may be so they're in the UK especially they are like events that are dedicated to you pitching your table and having a pop-up there and then of course there's like trade shows and exhibitions I have never actually done a trade show but I've been to a trade show and those ones are expensive for starters but they're mainly for say if you want to get like a buyer so maybe you're a clothing brand and you want to get into Selfridges those exhibitions are where you would find buyers typically and of course like consumers depending on what kind of trade show you go to you will know like what what the end goal is for that particular trade show so how do you even go about finding where to actually do a pop-up so for like the event style pop-ups those are a little bit difficult to find from me it's like scrolling on instagram that is how i found all the like event pop-ups that i've done in the past i was just scrolling on instagram going on small brands and seeing that oh they had a pop-up there like i wonder who they did it for then like clicking on like whoever they've tagged and then going into that and then messaging that person and be like oh whenever you're having your next event please bear us in mind and just go for that so that is how we've done like our event type pop-ups or going on eventbrite and typing in like pop-up fashion events for example and on there you will see there might be like selling tickets for people to go to one but then you will see the organizers that are actually doing it and then you can find them and contact them and saying that can I be involved in this event or can I be involved in your next event it's just being proactive going out there and looking in the right places to see whether you can find an event that has potential for you to like set up your store you can go about actually like renting like a space a store so there's a few websites out there that i know of that you can go on to and rent a temporary store from so there's storefront there's appear here there's we are pop up and there's tag a venue so those are the different sites that i have used in the past to look for venues to actually pop up it might be like a store that's vacant at the time or maybe it's a store that's actually dedicated for just pop-ups so one that i recently discovered is called sook so s double k they do pop-ups and they've got like loads of different like actually i don't think it's loads they've got quite a few different locations and their stores are literally dedicated to brands popping up for it could be a couple hours it could be a couple days so you can check them out but one trick that i will let you know is even if you find like a location on these websites you don't necessarily have to book on these websites because these websites are kind of sort of like agencies so just go direct if you can direct to the landlord or the person that owns the um the space or rents the space or the person that's in charge of the space and try and contact them that way and try and contact them directly usually that way you can get like a discount maybe or build a better relationship with them as opposed to going through like all these like tunnels but of course these websites are great to actually look for the space in the first place and of course those sorts of websites they protect your money as well so it's like a toss up between the two you know you might get a discount but you might end up paying more so it really just depends on what you're on trade show wise there are loads of trade shows that you can do up and down the country I'm just going to speak about the ones that are directly linked to clothing brands and clothing companies so i've got a list here so one's in the uk there's pure london that's usually held at olympia there's moda that's usually held in Birmingham jacket required I think that's in London as well pulse London that's obviously in London um who's next that's in France I believe it's in Paris premier vision I can't actually remember that where that's held and agenda show that's in Las Vegas so um those are some of the trade shows that I have come across and you know kind of had my eye on I know pure London that's mainly for like say if you want to be a buy like you want to attract 
buyers buyers are people that will buy your product at a wholesale price and at a wholesale quantity and they will stock your product in their store um, I'm not sure about Moda because I haven't actually been to Moda and by been to I mean like as a visitor like I haven't actually exhibited in a trade show yet not sure whether I would we'll see who's next in France is the one that I've spoken to people about and I think that one's quite good I'm not sure so those are some that you can like have a look at what I would say is I'm probably going to make like a full-on video about what to take to a pop-up just to give you an idea you know you want to take obviously your merchandise your clothes and I'm just going to be specific to clothes so you might want to take like a veil a mannequin just something to make your pop-up look nice especially if you're like part of like an event you want your pop-up to attract people to come to your concession store and attract them to come and see what you're about so make sure it's like eye-catching and all of that kind of stuff if you guys have any questions about pop-ups and stuff please do let me know and i will try and answer them in the comments but honestly guys i feel like doing a pop-up it's good it gives you like the boost that you need because it's like when you see a physical customer in person making a purchase of your product that you've been working so hard on that the feeling is just immeasurable and it just gives you the boost that you want like the first ever pop-up we done was like back in I think 2017 or 18 and it was part of an event it was called Table Bay uh, I'm not sure whether they still do events I don't think they actually do but when we first got our first purchase that wasn't like a friend or family and it was just somebody that came to our stand and just liked the stuff honestly the feeling was just absolutely like insane and I just looked to my brother and I was like wow like people actually like the stuff like sometimes you have to remind yourself that you know people actually like the stuff because you can lose a bit of confidence especially like if you've launched online and you're not getting the sales that you're you expected to and usually it's literally just because you're not getting the traffic to your website and it's difficult to get traffic to your website i mean conversion rate of an online retailer is like minuscule it's like less than 10 percent usually or less than five percent so if you're only getting like 10 20 people coming on your website like obviously getting sales is going to be difficult but if you're out there and people are coming up to your stand and they're seeing your products and then they actually purchase in it like I don't know the, the feeling is you it's just yeah it's beautiful so I really really hope that this video has been informative and you've enjoyed it please continue to subscribe like my videos like I said drop a comment if you've got any questions thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my very next video